I've been grinding last epoch since the release of 1.0 and I'm I'm having a blast like everyone else that's been playing last epoch the game is unbelievable but if you don't know I like to play hardcore in all the games I played it's a challenge that I put on myself and most recently in Diablo 2 resurrected <clears throat> excuse me I went on a hardcore challenge of wanting to beat held difficulty on a hardcore character and it took me 10 tries on my 10th attempt I finally defeated held difficulty on a hardcore hardcore character in Diablo 2 resurrected and for those of you that play hardcore you know what I mean it's just I don't know how to describe it 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 playing hardcore in video games just as another element of excitement and reward and exhilaration knowing that at any moment you can lose it all it just adds another layer of fun factor to the game yeah it's painful when you die um, but you get back on the horse and you hope that the next one's going to be the one but there's no difference when i started playing last epoch i wanted to also play hardcore it didn't take me too long to put that challenge on me i grinded a softcore character and immediately I wanted to try hardcore. So we embarked on that challenge. Now, I know there's a lot of players that have reached level 100 on hardcore. I know it's doable. I know a lot of people have done it. However, I have embarked on running a hardcore character in Last Epoch. And if I got my numbers correct, because I went back to my video logs on my streams, and it looks like I've attempted hardcore six times and I've died six times. Now, I'm on a little reprise right now with hardcore because the pain is just too hard to swallow. <laughs> um, and plus, I want to get a softcore character at 100. I'm going to get a couple, one for sure, maybe a couple before I go back to trying hardcore. But the point of this video is because we've been having this debate uh, with my community on my live streams about the level of difficulty in last epoch with hardcore and getting to level 100 how hard is it is it the most difficult game to get 100 on hardcore we've been talking a lot about that lately and i wanted to create this video and ask you what are your thoughts if you're playing hardcore if you're a hardcore player how are you finding the challenge in Last Epoch to reach level 100. So in this video, we're gonna go over that a little bit and it's gonna pain me to do this, but in the name of content, we're gonna take a look at my brutal six hardcore deaths. I didn't wanna do this, but in the name of content, it has to be done. Okay, so first up is my Warlock, and we're humming along here until we got to the Venator Lalos with his stupid poison pools. And I have to say, this is a little bit of a rookie mistake, stepping in a pool, not realizing it, and boom, there she goes. That was my very first hardcore death. I couldn't believe it. Up next, I couldn't let go. <laughs> Always playing the Acolyte build. And that one was over before it even began. And I'm like, this is going to be harder than I thought. Again, this was my third hardcore death. And this boss, Ranyan, you got to be on your toes here. Uh, you you walk into the now this is my very first time experiencing him and I'm like what's going on so I'm trying to avoid these poison void pools and uh, yeah that void pool got me this one was a complete surprise we were just you know moseling along ramping up and just out of nowhere came the hammer of death it happened so fast 
didn't help that I was on the lip of the pool there, but yeah, that was, uh, that one hurt. That, that, that was quick and out of nowhere, totally caught me by surprise. Again, you got to know your surroundings when you're playing hardcore in this game. And this is another death where, let's just say, it took me by surprise again. And like I said, you have to be aware of all these pools that are on the ground and the enemy shooting at you. And yeah, another shocker, another surprise. It's just, you can't take your eye off the screen any time. And that's where I basically put the white flag up. I'm like, okay, this is this is getting out of hand. I'm dying like to stupid deaths. And I just said, that's it. I'm putting up the white flag. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I was so upset. And we went back to the Acolyte again. I I I I want to do the Wraith Lord on Hardcore. I want to have a 100. Uh, so we went back to it. Um, and again, just boom. This one was quick. And I just, I'm in awe. I'm like, I, I can't believe it. Again, out of nowhere, another death. Okay, those are my six deaths on Hardcore. As you can see on one of the deaths, I just put the white flag up. I couldn't take it anymore. It was so painful. Continuing to die on Hardcore, like, just crazy. I got to say, the level 65 death on my Wraith Lord was really painful. We had just gotten the helm for that build. And we literally died a couple of monoliths later. Oh, man. It, and I could have wore that helm too. 65 is the requirement for that helmet. But anyway, um, it is what it is. Those were those are my six hardcore deaths. I am going to complete this challenge, come hell or high water. But I have to say, personally, in my experience, last Epoch's challenge of getting to 100 in hardcore, I have to say it's the most difficult challenge that I faced in all the games that I played on a personal level that's my feeling let me know what you think uh, if I'm off my rocker and there's another game out there that you've tried that's literally impossible to complete the game in hardcore mode so just let me know I would love to hear it but I'd also like to get into the following when it comes to why I believe the challenge of getting to 100 in hardcore on Last Epoch is really daunting because of, I think, the main contributor, just the boss mechanics. You really need to understand what the boss mechanics are, specific to the one you're fighting at the moment. There are a lot of mechanics with the boss fights in this game. And obviously, Lagan is one of the biggest challenge and it's one that i believe probably the most deaths have happened from a boss um so we're gonna go over a little bit i'm just gonna show you a couple of bosses because if i were to show you all of them this would be like a 45 minute video but i'm just gonna give you a couple just to demonstrate how challenging it is for hardcore players to get through and level up to 100 when part of the process is lining up and trying to conquer these bosses and their mechanics are one shot mechanics for the most part so you really need to have your build in order and you need to have your strategy and you got to be on your toes when you're fighting these bosses so let's take a quick look at some of these bosses so let's start with the granddaddy himself lagan Lagoon, however you want to pronounce it, this guy, I got to say, he, by a country mile, has probably killed the most players in Last Epoch. Everyone complains about this boss. Everyone knows how difficult this boss is. It has two phases, and it's just 
the mechanics in this game are just unbelievable. A lot of fun. Sorry, in this boss fight, uh, there's a lot of dodging, a lot of dodging the mechanics of Lagan. Um, and it's just a fun boss fight, but it is a pain in the ass to fight him. Uh, he's got a lot, a lot of one-shot mechanics. His stinky breath is definitely one of them. His slams when he comes down on you typically don't one-shot you. His breath will. Um, but this is a difficult fight. It's a fun fight. But um, this one definitely has killed a lot, a lot of players. And I can't imagine doing this. A lot of hardcore players avoid this boss. And you can avoid this boss in hardcore. This is the phase two of the boss fight. And basically, you just have to kill all these tentacles. Avoid all the stuff. And once you do, it brings you back to Lagan, who this happens at half health. And basically, you have to finish him off here. And like I said, the, it gets more difficult when you spawn back after getting him down to 50%. Uh, there's a lot of stuff and dodging that you have to do. And uh, you have to also do damage at the same time. Avoid all these things that are being thrown at you. Plus his slams. Um, it, like I said, it's a fun fight. But it's a you-know-what to get done. A lot of hardcore players, like I said earlier, avoid this fight in their hardcore journey. Now we got a we got this one actually uh, I included this one just to show that they're not all super badass. This boss fight is really just getting in and out of the circle and just damaging him. It's uh it's I would say this is not one of the most difficult boss fights. I would say this is actually one of the easier ones. Really all you have to do is avoid his breath get out of the circle, get in the circle, damage, avoid his breath, avoid the one-shot mechanics on the ground. Um, other than that, it's fairly a simple boss fight. This one is not scary at all. But again, all the boss fights in Last Epoch have all these different mechanics in them, and they're, they're a joy to, to play. And it's rewarding when you do beat these bosses. But you, still, even though I would consider this one low on the difficulty scale compared to the other bosses in the game, um, you still got to be on your toes with this one. He could definitely one-shot you. Not a problem. But um, if, if you're wise and smart and you know the mechanics, this one, you could take him down relatively without any problem. And on the other side, <laughs> we have Majasa, who uh, this <laughs> this guy, I have to say, the very first time that I fought Majasa, uh, I went from pure joy to pure, you got to be kidding me. And I'll explain as we watch this. But this also has several mechanics. It has a lot of one-shot mechanics in it. Obviously, the breath stuff coming down on you from from the sky this is one of the phases where you got to go around and kill these totems or avarices whatever they're called um and then you just got to go back and damage majasa now he has two i don't know what they are but they're they look like cupboards or something i don't know uh, drawers of chest I don't know what you want to call them that there's one on each side and he goes to um, but and replenishes his health but you kill him and this is where I thought amazing I just beat him and then I'm like what the hell he respawns and you got to kill him again um, <laughs> just crazy but here he, he this is the where he goes to the side and replenishes his health 
Um, so it's an annoying fight. It's definitely a hard fight. If you don't have your resistances in order and you don't have your damage in order and you don't avoid all these one-shot mechanics, even if they don't one-shot you, they take a good chunk of health out of you. And if you don't have enough health pots, you are going to die because you won't have any more health pots. He does a lot of damage. You got to kill him twice. Um, so this one's a tough one. Um, it's just, this one's more of a marathon of a fight. So as long as you can stay in it, keep your calm, stay away from the one shots, avoid all the damage mechanics in this boss fight, and you'll just do fine. From a mechanic standpoint, it isn't really difficult. It's just being patient doing damage and getting out of there and before you know it boom okay well there you have it that that was just a little flavor of what going up bosses on last epoch what it looks like there are many more and some of them more difficult than what i displayed as far as their mechanics uh yeah i had my fair share of deaths not only in hardcore but also in softcore these bosses are not a joke you need to know what you're doing uh, which makes the game that more fun. And the beauty of this game is not only does it have quality of life itemization, but the boss fights are fun and, and they're challenging and they're rewarding. Um, I'm really looking forward to future updates to the game 1.1, where they're going to add more to the monolith, so more to the end game content. They're actually going to be adding pinnacle bosses so this game has a bright future in my opinion and i think i gotta get my hardcore 100 challenge done before they add even more difficulty and it's worth noting that 1.0 has raised the level of difficulty in general in the game that was communicated to everyone with the release of 1.0 that they had raised the level of difficulty in the campaign and in the game in general, um, which makes this task even more daunting. So I'm really looking forward to the day that I can say I have a level 100 hardcore character. I would love, love to hear your feedback on this video. What are your thoughts? Where does getting 100 on a hardcore character in Last Epoch, that difficulty, where does it rate? How do you score it? Where do you see it? Um, would be I would love to hear from other hardcore players that have tried it and let me know how you compare it to other video games and the level of difficulty. And I'd love to hear from hardcore players that have a level 100 in hardcore. Let me know how you found it. Did you have any really dicey moments? I would love to hear your experience. It's one that I'm embarking on right now. And like I said, I can't wait to the day that I can say I have a 100 hardcore character. So I would love to hear your feedback. Anyway, it's a tough one, guys, but this game is a beauty and it's a pleasure to play, having fun, whether it's softcore or hardcore. Also, let me know how you're experiencing Last Epoch. I'd love to hear from the community and how you're enjoying or not enjoying Last Epoch. I'd love to hear your feedback. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. I really do appreciate it. And if you can like, comment, and subscribe, I would also appreciate it. And as always, we'll hope to see you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.